rallied through the city calling for unity between China and Tibet. Chinese government supporters are calling for peace in the lead up to the Beijing Games, but they've drawn an angry response from Melbourne's Tibetan community. Melbourne's Chinese community is rallying behind the Chinese government. What we are protesting is uh, we're against any violence any violence at all and that we're promoting the peaceful games. More than 4,000 converged on the State Library, rejecting international criticism of China's handling of violent uprisings in Tibet. It's the separatists um, who actually caused um, these violence and uh, the Chinese government only reacted to it. So we're all pro-Tibet. If we're pro-government which is improving the livelihood of the people. In Sydney, around 1,000 people marched, bringing city traffic to a standstill. Protesters say they simply want the world to hear both sides of the story as all eyes turn to China in the lead up to the Beijing Games. But Melbourne's Tibetan community dismissed the protest as Chinese propaganda. And this time definitely I think organised by China, China's government because of this embarrassment for the they had in the last few times. After violent demonstrations in London and Paris, the Olympic torch relay arrived in Tanzania today. The federal government is urging pro-Tibetan activists not to disrupt the relay when it travels through Canberra on April 24. Ben McNair, 7 News. A project to fight eye disease in